Hey guys, it's Neil again from Heart of Texas Armory, and today I want to bring you guys a video review of this new optic from Holosun. This is the 503R GD, the gold reticle version. So join me today and find out my complete thoughts on this super cool optic from Holosun. And before we get too far into this video review, I do want to let you guys know I do have these optics available for purchase at my website, heartoftexasarmory.com. And like always, I do have coupon codes available for pretty much all of the items on my web store. So this one here, you should be seeing that coupon code pop up right now. If you're interested in one of these things, definitely head over to my website, add one to your cart, and don't forget to apply the coupon code. Taking a look at the design and specs of this optic, you'll probably notice it's very similar to a lot of the other micro optics that Holosun has out on the market. The size here is very similar to a Aimpoint T1, T2, if you're familiar with those. So very small, lightweight, and very durable. But this 503R GD does have a few unique features I'd like to talk about. One of them here is you should see, just looking at this optic, that there are no external buttons on this optic. So a lot of other Holosun optics do use actual rubberized buttons on the actual body itself and you use those to control the intensity. This one here, you can see on the right hand side of the optic, we do have a rotary dial. And this rotary dial is what we use to control the intensity of the optic as well as change the reticle from a 65 MOA circle end dot to just a 2 MOA dot. The rotary dial here is very similar to what you'd see on an aim point. So the advantage of this is just it is very simple to operate. Like I mentioned, there are no external buttons here to worry about, no plus or minus buttons. All you need to do is rotate the dial to go up or down in intensity. So the other unique thing I'd like to talk about with this optic is the abbreviation at the end of the optic name, the GD. That GD stands for gold. So the gold or amber color here is a new reticle color from Holosun for 2019 and 2020. They are starting to push this pretty heavily now. We've had the red obviously for quite some time and then just recently the last couple years Holosun came out with their elite green reticle. This one here is their third reticle color which is the gold color. So there are a few benefits to this gold color. Now each reticle color whether it's green, red, or gold they all have their pluses and minuses, so you have to kind of try them out to see which one is best for you. But the main advantages here with the gold are as follows. So the first reason would be that the new gold color is colorblind neutral. So if you struggle with red or green colorblindness, this gold reticle would be a good option. The second advantage would be that this new gold color, as well as their green reticle, these colors appear brighter to the human eye, so the human eye picks up the colors green and yellow better than red. So in most cases, this reticle color here as well as the green will appear brighter. And finally, with this new gold reticle, you're able to have a separate color if you say have a laser with a red or green laser on your weapon system. This gives you the ability to tell the difference between the laser and also your actual optic reticle. So a couple other specs I'd like to talk about here briefly is one, the impressive battery life that you get out of this optic. So Holosun does claim up to 100,000 battery life hours with this optic on setting six if you're using the two MOA dots. So that is very impressive battery life. You're talking well beyond six, seven, eight years here. So you shouldn't have to change the battery on this very often. Another thing to mention here is that the Holosun 503 series of optics all are compatible with the Aimpoint Micro T1, T2 pattern of mounts. So there are tons of aftermarket mounts available for that pattern style and they will all work with this optic. So briefly I'll show you how this optic works in operation. So unlike most Holosuns, this one does not have the shake awake technology which is a really cool technology that the optic will go to sleep when it senses no motion and then it wakes up instantaneously when it senses motion. So with this optic, Holosun has designed it to be just straight up simple. So you can turn this optic off manually. You can see it right now, it is off on the zero setting, but it is designed to be left on. So you turn it on, you rotate the dial, turn it on to the setting you want, and you just leave it on. You don't have to worry about turning it on or off because the battery life is so impressive with this. So very simple to operate. All you need to do to turn it on is rotate the dial to whatever intensity setting you want. I find in most situations you're gonna use between setting five and 10. So anything under five is gonna be for very low light situations. Anything above 10 is gonna be extremely bright and it's gonna wash out in most environments unless you're in very, very bright direct sunlight. 
If you rotate the dial beyond 12, which is the brightest intensity 7, you can see to this mark right here, that signifies a switch of the reticle. So currently I've got it on the 65 MOA circle with a dot. If I rotate it to that mark right there, the optic will switch over to just the dot. Vice versa, if I go back and then rotate it back to that other mark again, it will switch back to the 65 MOA and two MOA dot. So it takes a little bit of time to get used to that operation to switch between reticles, but once you get used to it, it's not a big deal at all. And here we are outside taking a look through the optics so you can see it in operation here. You can probably tell that the reticle here, the new gold reticle, is very crisp, very clear, just like pretty much all the Holosun optics. But the main thing I wanted to show here is that that new gold reticle color, it's just very bright, easy to pick up no matter what color you run the optic over here. You can see I'm going across multiple background colors here and that gold reticle is very easy to pick up and very impressive. So to wrap this video review up here, this new optic from Holosun, this HE503R GD is very impressive. I'm a big fan of that gold reticle. You know, I like the red dots, I like the green dots, and now I definitely am a big fan of this new gold reticle. So pretty cool stuff from Holosun. I also like the durable construction here, you know, solid aluminum construction, nice anodization here throughout. It is also IPX7 rated, so pretty much waterproof. It's nitrogen purged. Pretty much all the modern features you're used to on most modern red dots you get with this new Holosun. I also like the simple operation of this optic. You know, you have your windage and elevation turrets here protected by these machined wings here. That's a nice feature. The caps here have the flathead screwdriver built into, so you can adjust them with the cap or screwdriver. Also, just a big fan of how simple this optic is to operate. So, like I mentioned before, there's no buttons here to worry about. All you have is just here on the right-hand side, that rotary dial. And having a gold reticle here, it is part of what Holosun calls their Elite Series. And the main benefit with that is you do get the Elite Series warranty. So, with the standard Classic Series, Holosun has a five-year warranty on the electronics. The Elite series of optics all bump that up to 10 years on the electronics, so that's a nice touch. As for negatives, there's not a whole lot to report with this optic. One of the things I'll mention is that I think a lot of folks will be disappointed that this optic does not have the shake awake technology built into it, so it's not going to power down automatically or turn on automatically based off of motion. This one here is designed to be just left on, so similar to an aim point in that regards, but I think some folks are gonna find that as a negative, although in reality, it's not that big of a deal because the battery life is so impressive. Another slight negative I'll mention is when you look through the glass of this optic, you should notice that the color looks slightly bluish, so that is because of this front lens here with that anti-reflective coating they apply. Uh, some other optics are gonna be almost true to life color when you look through the glass. This one here is gonna have a bit of a bluish hue. But overall, you know, this is another great optic from Holosun. This is the first one I've taken a look at with the new gold reticle, and I'm pretty impressed. I think it's just going to be a big hit for Holosun, particularly for folks who struggle with red-green color blindness. And Holosun will be releasing more of this gold reticle on some of their other optics, so the 510C, the 512, and many others, so be on the lookout for those as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video review of the HE503R GD featuring the new gold reticle color from Holosun. If you have any questions or comments on this optic, definitely leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And don't forget guys to head over to my website and pick one of these up if you're interested. And don't forget to apply that coupon code. And guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take care.